Emily Howland was a prominent abolitionist, suffragist, philanthropist, and educator. Born in 1827, she was a vocal supporter of African American rights, women's rights, and the temperance movement. Born into a prominent Quaker family in Sherwood, New York, her family's business, now known as the Howland Cobblestone Store, has been converted into a museum celebrating the reform movements of the 19th century. Educated in upstate New York and Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, she taught at the Normal School for Colored Girls in Washington, D.C. from 1857 to 1859. She then taught freed slaves to read and write at refugee camps during the Civil War. In 1867, her father purchased 400 acres of land for the establishment of a community of freed slaves in Northern Virginia, where she founded the Howland Chapel School. She continued to support the education of African Americans throughout her life, donating money and materials, working with school administrators, and through her public activism. Upon her father's death in 1881, she returned to Sherwood, New York, where she continued teaching and became more active in the suffrage movement. The Quaker tradition is one of consensus and nonviolence, and in keeping with her beliefs when the suffrage movement was split along the lines of support of the 15th Amendment, which enfranchised former slaves but not women, she continued to attend meetings of both factions. She is also credited with convincing Ezra Cornell, a fellow Quaker, that women should be allowed to attend Cornell University upon its founding in 1865. The final stage of her career was to become the first woman to direct a national bank in the U.S., a distinction she held for 39 years until her death at 101 years.